Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Amo Sobe. In this video, we are going to learn about how to convert degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. As this is a very confusing topic, we are going to discuss this very in detail and study this. Make sure to watch the whole video. So let's start. So to convert degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit, we must remember this equation. This is a method and there are also other methods, but this is how I do it. So I'll show you how to do that. So the equation is C divided by 100 equals to F minus 32 divided by 180. This basically is not very tough. It's very easy, but to simplify it, we are going to do it into three different steps. First of all, divide, then multiply and add. For easy calculation, we have divided this into three different steps. So now let's do this with an example. So for the first example, we are going to use 40 degrees Celsius and we are going to convert this into degree Fahrenheit. So let's see this in detail. Step 1. Divide. So in this process, we are going to do as, a, as same in the equation degree Celsius divided by over 100. So in the first it's a, in the equation itself, we can see this method. So we are going to convert this degree Celsius to, de uh, to, to degree 40 which we got as the, uh, the, num uh, the Celsius we have to convert. So I am going to write it just like that. So instead of the degree Celsius divided by 100, we are going to write deg uh, degree 40 Celsius to by divided by one, uh, 100. Uh, basically we have to divide this so uh, as uh, the denominator is bigger uh, bigger than the uh, numerator it is not possible to divide what we are going to do is as 40 is smaller than 100 we are going to cut one zero of the 100 and make it 10 now the new uh, denominator is smaller than the numerator now we can uh, do, uh, divide it 40 divided by 110 uh, equals to 4 so this is the step one it's completed in this process, we have to divide the given degree Celsius by 100. And if 100 is uh, is smaller, uh, I mean, if it is bigger than the uh, the the given degree Celsius, we have to cut one zero of 100. Okay, so we have completed this process, and the answer we got is four. Now let's move on to the next process. We have to multiply the answer which we got earlier with 180. And we are multiplying it with 180 as the degree Fahrenheit uh, scale has 180 um, divisions. So the answer we got earlier was for a 4 and we now we are going to divide, uh, I mean multiply it with 180. The answer we, uh, we are going to get uh, is going to be a very huge answer as 180 is a very huge number. So we are going to cut one zero of 180 as we did earlier in the 100. But if we do, uh, but for example, if we if we are doing in other uh, other numbers, if we didn't have cut the one uh, the one zero of one hundred, we should not cut the zero of one eighty two. We cut earlier in the one hundred. We have to cut in the one eighty two. Now we are going to uh, cut the one zero, which makes it eighteen. So four into eighteen equals to seventy two. This is very easy. This is the step two completed. Multiply. Now let's move on to the third step. Add. Now we have to add the uh, the answer which we got by 32. So when we add the uh, answer which we got earlier, which is 72, with uh, 32, we get the answer as 104. So that's all. We got the answer. So the 40 degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit equals to 104 degree Fahrenheit. This was very easy. Now let's do it with a, uh, another example. This time we are going to use 56 degrees Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. First of all, as I said in the, uh, in the early steps, we have to divide it uh, with 100. So 56 divided by 100. And as I said earlier, 100, uh, the denominator is small, uh, greater than the numerator. So it is not possible to divide. So we are going to cut one zero of uh, uh, the 100, and which makes it 10. Now 56 divided by 10 equals to 5.6. Now uh, the first, this is the first step completed division. Now we are moving into the next step, which is step 2, multiply. So we have to multiply the uh, answer which we got by 180. And this is a very important step. In the earlier step, we all uh, we uh, we cut one zero of one hundred. 
so as we did it in earlier we have to do it with 182 so we are cutting one zero of 180 which makes it 18 and 5.6 into um, multiplied by 18 equals to 100.8 so this is a step to complete and multiply and we got the answer as 100.8 now step 3 add so we have to add the, uh, the answer which we got with 32 so 100.8 divided uh, i mean uh, added by 32 equals to 132.8 so that's all we have completed this is the answer so 56 degrees Celsius to degree Fahrenheit equals to 132.8 degree Fahrenheit. Hope you all enjoyed my video and it was useful. Thank you.